call to order the Transportation Committee meeting of uh, Tuesday, July the 9th, 2013. <coughs> Councilman Clua, I mean, Councilman Lambert is going to lead us in the invocation followed by the pledge. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here tonight to make decisions on our highways, keep them safe for our citizens of this parish. Lord, we want to uh, also keep in mind the family of Mr. Uh, Troy Berthelot, who passed away this past weekend, and uh, may you be with them in these hard times. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for us. <coughs> <coughs> Ms. Liz, let it be known that Miss uh, Terry and Randy are out. Anyone wish to speak on any agenda item, please sign it with Miss Liz. Number four, the road department uh, report for June, Mr. Pierce. And uh, we had 200 total work on this month. 13,500 <laughs> Councilman Lambert. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. Pierce, I, I'm not sure if you uh, know about this project, but we started a cleanup project on George Rie Road. Mr. Albert Bell, I think Don was handling that, Mr. Heisen. And I think the parish went out there and started it with a dozer and cleaned some of it, but they never did finish it. You know anything? I, I, I saw, the homeowners are telling me, the neighbors behind me are telling me this, <coughs> that they had, a, they had a dozer that went in and did some cleaning. Because we did, we did, we are pursuing trying to get it cleaned up. It's about the third house, it's about the third house, um, I guess, <coughs> right by your road on George Rouillet right there. Mr. Albert, he, he, Mr. Albert Bell passed away, I believe. This is the house. Yeah. But he said the parish was in there and they did a partial clean up on it. Can you just follow up on that for me, maybe? Some of that area we have to use the prison to clean. Yeah. Uh, we've had some about. That's 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 one of the areas. So comes from back by Posey from the back side. Yeah. Some of it with equipment, but other you got Okay. I just want to see where yeah, give me the status on where they actually get you a car. Okay. That'd be good. That's George Rouillet Road? Yeah. Third house on the right, right? Third house on the right from Black Bayou Road, yeah. That's correct. Appreciate it. Mr. Joseph. Okay, number five, the uh, road project status report. Uh, Jason? Uh, parish road projects, uh, there's, there's a little bit of a, of a mistake here. Change order three for the Roddy Road widening <coughs> is, um, is for the old Roddy Road widening. And the Roddy Road widening it has not been designed but, uh, or built yet, that the next section. Uh, it's going it, to. It has been submitted to the MPO for funding. Uh, Church Point and, and Roddy in, is in uh, right-of-way acquisition, uh, targeted for summer 2013 construction. Uh, the 2012 maintenance projects. Uh, we have a separate item for change directive eight in that. Uh, it's in progress. Um, uh, how we. 42 sewer and Highway 73 sewer are, um, Highway 73 sewer is being built. It's 75% complete. Uh, we have not let the um, sewer for Highway 42 yet. I believe that's about a month away. 
August 14th. Yeah, August 14th for that. Um, <clears throat> state projects, uh, US 61. Well, uh, let me start from my list. LA 73 widening from uh, I-10 to 61 is um, <clears throat> is 35 percent complete. Uh, 61 from uh, LA 22 to LA 74 is 98 percent complete, which pretty much means it's done. Anticipated completion date on that is at, at the end of the month on July 26. Uh, US 61 at Swamp Road, 95 percent complete, also July 26. 61 at 44, 78 percent complete with, um, they're anticipating that being finished in the next couple of weeks. Um, Highway 431 at 30, 61, 931, 935 is 5% complete. Um, they're working with the utility contractors to move, uh, to, to, uh, move uh, utilities. 429 at uh, 44 is 99% complete. Um, that was supposed to be complete at the end of last month. Um, I will check and make sure that's not complete by the next time we have a meeting. Uh, 3089 roadway lighting, 38% complete. Um, the contractors are, are installing the lights right now. Uh, 3089 overlay from 70 to LA1, 62% complete. Uh, expecting a completion on that August 30th. And I think that's it. Yes. Vice President. Yes. Uh, Got a call today from Joey Turo with DOTD. There are, just to let, I know Todd, this is your area and uh, some of your area and Randy's, but uh, they're going to actually block 431 off at Santa Mo High starting Saturday into early evening Sunday. So hopefully it doesn't take that long. It can get open before, but uh, they're going to be putting out bulletins uh, the rest of this week. We're going to Post it on our website, and uh, hopefully the, the viewers uh, tonight can uh, and also hear. Huh? What's the beaker of signs? For yes, they're going to start the beaker signs. Uh, I talked to Joey today, and uh, he uh, assured me that they were going to take all those uh, measures. So, but just want to start passing the word around in Santa Mo area that uh, my pit stop right there on 431. That section is going to be closed to put a big pipe underneath uh, a drainage pipe. Councilman Jones? Yeah. Uh, Press, uh, road lighting in the Downsonville area, uh, we had discussed it briefly to try to get, a, you know, Highway 1, we have some lights that is uh, on a state highway, and, you know, they process, and uh, you were supposed to at least try to call the state, set up a meeting that we can try to work out some details on that, because every light that I put up on a street light on a state road, I have to get it engineered. And that cost is between three to five thousand dollars, as you know, just for basically a little sidewalk light, really. And uh, you know, they paying uh, the lighting district paying taxes on it, and those constituents they want their light up. And right now, the state is holding us up on some lights. And so, I just hope that you can help us out with that. And one more question for the president is uh, now uh, Downsonville is part, if, I, if I'm wrong, is, let me know, yeah. MPO now? Downsonville is part of the MPO study area, which basically allows uh, funds to be spent in that area. Uh, until it officially becomes a part of the MPO, uh, you know, generally the mayor of that town would be put on the uh, MPO committee. But that's, this is only for the study area now. But what it does, we did accomplish, was that it makes it eligible for, for the funding. So. Thank you again for that. All right. That's all. That's all. Uh, just one quick question. Uh, Jason, August the 14th on uh, LA Highway 42, the sewer, will be, that's when we're going to let the uh, bids go for the sewer, or what, what do we have on that? 
DOTD's uh, letting date for the clearing and grubbing and the sewer installation portion of that project is August 14th. August 14th, okay, thank you. We're, we're in the process of getting a CENI engineer for that. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, no other comments on that. Number six, the uh, work change directive number eight, uh, change order number two for the 2012 road maintenance project. Jason. Um, right. Uh, this is a decrease in the contract amount of $268,000, dollars $268,676. Um, if, I, if I may, uh, if, if we could, since it's decreasing the total amount of the contract, is there any possible way that we could get this committee to, um, to add one of the 2014 roads into the scope of this project, specifically Rosetta? Rosetta Road. First of all, I think we have to uh, move on the motion uh, to accept it. To accept the uh, deduction, uh, I guess we could come uh, amend, it, yeah. amend it to amend two. it that we are we are pushing forward to one of the other roads that was on the list to be done. Okay, I'll make that motion. Moved by Councilman Lambert. Second. Second by Councilman Oliver Joseph. We are going to move on the uh, change directive first. Right. With the amendment uh, that we're going to add uh, Rosetta Rosetta to the 2000 Thir 2012 2012 uh, uh, road maintenance okay. list. Is that the next road on the list? Is that basically a priority wise? It, it is on okay. the list for next year, yes, sir. And, and the money fits for that project? Y yes, sir. It should, okay. be, it should be well, well under $100,000. Okay. okay. All right. With that amendment, any other discussion? There's no objection. Motion passed. Move on to number eight uh, renewal of annual certification of compliance 2014 federal off road. Bro we missed seven. Seven. I'm sorry. Let me go back to number seven. Change order number three for Roddy Road widening. Uh, Jason? This is a, a decrease again in, in the amount of $85,743.24 to, um, to finalize the amount on, on the contract for this. So moved, uh, Jim. Second. Moved by Councilman Lambert. Second by Councilman Oliver Joseph. No objection to the motion. Passed. And we'll move on to number eight, renewal of annual certification of compliance. Uh, uh, Jason? This, this item is basically for us to stay on a list for funding. Um, if we choose not to do this, we get off the list for bridges that are already to be funded. If we choose to stay on the list and renew this, we stay on the list. Motion. Okay. Moved stay by Councilman Lambert, second by Councilman Oliver Joseph. Second. Question. Question, Mr. Joseph. Um, Stay on the list. Okay, I see, uh, I see the bridges. That's what I was looking for. Okay, we good. No further discussion. Motion pass. Move on to number nine: selection of asphalt inspection services for the projects. Jason. Uh, uh, there are two separate items in this. The first one is that. Uh, we did not renew our contract with Artiman Contractors Geotechnical Services for this uh, because they, they did not have a certified asphalt inspector which was required in the contract. Uh, I, would, I would like permission to select a, a, the next one on the existing list or one of your choosing. Um, Terracon is next on the list in order to um, in order to have the proper services needed for our um, for our asphalt inspectors, our geotechnical inspection services, and the the second item on the list is um, we have not uh, we have not gotten the um, services that were required out of PSI. Um, they uh, they have not had um, an asphalt inspector 
nor have they uh, at, the, at the plant, which is required for what we need, nor have they given us consistent results. Um, I, I would like either permission to uh, cancel the contract or, or to um, reprimand them or whatever this board recommends. Pat President. Yes, I uh, spoke to PSI uh, briefly yesterday and today, and uh, they had a change of uh, the guard in Baton Rouge, and uh, I'd like to do is uh, possibly give them uh, maybe another two weeks, and if they don't comply, then go ahead and, and get, just let them go. So I'm going to ask and I can do that on my own with the engineering. If they get with me and tell me they're not complying, uh, I'll be happy to uh, cancel the contract. I'll make that motion that the, uh, we give them two weeks to get in compliance. Uh, for us, Mr. We'll leave it up to I second that. Moved by Councilman Leckett. Lambert, second by Councilman Alva Joseph. Any discussion? Discussion? I, I guess we got a two part. Yes, that's that. And, that's, 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 and, I, and I have a question on the second part. So we'll move on. The first one, no other further discussion. Motion passed. Mr. Joseph? Yeah. I, I guess. Uh, are we talking about Terracon this time or are we talking about PSI? No, Terracon. Terracon. The, the okay. next, the list. Okay. You're uh, saying that the uh, argument is not no longer in compliance or? They, they did not have a, they did not meet they the qualifications of our, yeah. of our contract, which was, they, they admitted to us that they did not have a certified asphalt inspector, mm -hmm. which is required. So we chose not to renew their contract. All right. Um, we, we have, we, we've, we've chosen three in the past, and right now we're only at two, and that puts us at a, um, that puts us at a disadvantage if, um, if Something we need happens. a third one. Yeah. Okay. All right. What happened, and my question is, Gulf, I mean, Gulf South was one of them? Gulf South is already one of the ones that are on here. Okay. Uh, the PSI, PSI was chosen by the board, okay, and an Artiman was chosen. All right. Um, I, I, I don't. It doesn't matter to me who the next one is, but these are the ones that qualified. I, I just assume go down the list. No, I, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I'm up to speed on what the process is again. All right. I mean, I can go make the motion with Terrell. Now. Okay. I'll second that. Moved by Councilman Joseph. Second by Councilman Lambert. Any other discussion? Not. Motion passed. Mr. Lamb. Parish President, the case of PSI doesn't come in compliance. Put it back I always want to move down to the next one. To bring another one back yeah, in. that's fine. We can go to the next one down the list. Okay. No problem. Okay. Oh, you want to? You want to? We, we don't, you I, don't want know that, I don't know if there's a time frame we need to move on now. We'll just wait till the next meeting. To we'll have two in place. We can do it at the next meeting that's if you want to do fine. that because we'll have two that we can. I mean, you don't. You can pick any of the three that you want to use anyway. Right. Okay. Yeah, that works. No, no further discussion on that. Number ten, discussion of road acceptance to the parish maintenance system. Mr. Deoman. I'm here to bring in uh, some roads in the parish maintenance system from uh, Greystone subdivision and second filing. If you look at the sheets, we've got four roads. Uh, they measure uh, 3,263 feet, which is 0.62 miles. The roads are in good shape. It's our recommendation to accept. Thank you, Mr. Norman. We'll take, we'll take individual Solomon Creek Stone. Thank Moved by Councilman Lambert, second by Councilman Joseph. Further discussion? If not, motion passed. Next one. Moved by Councilman Lambert for Stonewood Drive. Second by Councilman Oliver Joseph. No further discussion? Motion passed. Stonebrook Avenue, I make a motion. Moved by Mr. Joseph, second by Councilman Lambert. Any further discussion? Not, motion passed. Motion on the Hillstone Drive. Moved by Councilman Joseph on Hillstone. Second, second by Councilman Lambert. No other discussion? Motion passed. I'm going to let the past president bring. Uh, before we close out, I'm going to let the past president, uh, if he has anything, and I think Mr. Turo's in the back. He walked in. Yeah. Uh, 
couple of things, and uh, one is that, uh, of course, you know today's Ben's last day. I uh, just want to say that it's uh, been a pleasure working with him over the past few years. Uh, I think he's learned a lot here, and we've learned a lot, and he's done an excellent job of establishing an engineering department here in Ascension Parish. So I just want to publicly thank him for the job that he's done and wish him well in his new endeavors. And uh, I'm sure that wherever he goes, he's going to do a great job. So, uh, you know, I just want to to say that. Uh, Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. Next thing, uh, we, we've been, uh, Mr. Two in here, which is good, but we, we've been in discussion uh, with DOTD about our grass cutting contract, uh, and it, uh, it expires in July here, and uh, basically what we're trying to do is get a little bit more money because it's costing us a lot more money to, to actually cut the road, so we're in negotiations on that. Uh, what, I'd, what I'd like to do is try to get an, at least an extension to finish out this year, and uh, that way we won't lose any, won't have any problems on the state roads. And then by next year we can adjust whatever which way we we need to to do it. So uh, just like your uh, blessing on that, Mr. Joseph. Chris, I mean. What type of percentage we are looking for, or what, what we're trying to? Well, right now uh, we've uh, <laughs> we've established and the numbers, and uh, we DOTD is currently auditing uh, what we've given them as far as numbers. Uh, we figure that we we are spending about four hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars a year to uh, to cut state roads. That's a hundred miles. Uh, we get paid one hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars for those uh, hundred miles. So. Uh, we're basically losing uh, quite a bit. Uh, I'm not telling you it provides a service to the public. I'm not here to tell you that uh, we're going to get the whole 400 and whatever, 22,000, but at least we need to have something to kind of meet us in, in the middle here and so we can continue providing that service. Because I'm sure Mr. Turo can tell you that they don't have a whole, they don't have a crew that can cut out state roads. Uh, they might get them cut once a year, twice a year, and uh, whereas we cut them four times a year and pray them and do all this other stuff. So if we can get a little help uh, some kind of way, uh, either maybe they spray once a year with us and give us a little bit more money. I mean, we're not asking uh, for the whole ball of wax because I, I really think that, uh, you know, that service needs to be provided, uh, whether it be by the parish or the state. So. Anyway, I'm trying to work with them and trying to negotiate with them, and that's kind of where we're at. But I'd like to uh, maybe uh, ask Mr. Turo up at this time to give us a little bit more information. I did tell you a little bit about 431. I didn't know he was uh, going to make it before the meeting's over, but, Joey, uh, would you like to? Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I want to reiterate that uh, Ben has been really great for uh, DOTD. To, to work with out of my uh, every dealings that I've had with them. Uh, uh, I'm sure y'all going to miss them and, and we're the same. Uh, I just wanted to inform, I'm not sure if it was mentioned before, but uh, it's something that just came up today that the uh, contractor wanted to take the opportunity of putting a cross drain under LA 431 uh, as soon as possible. He's ready for it. Uh, so this will be right in front of Santa Mo High School. He'll be putting a very large uh, cross drain in right there, and it will line up better with the, uh, the ditches that uh, uh, come from the uh, east, and also the, uh, uh, it'll line up perfectly with the west side because they've, uh, the, the school board has actually hired our contractor to realign that ditch on that side. So this is the cross drain that'll tie the two ditches together and allow drainage to go through. Uh, because it's such a large pipe and LA-431 is not a really wide roadway, uh, it's going to be cheaper and quicker for us to just close the roadway down uh, in order to put that crossing in. Uh, it'll be backfilled, uh, of course, before it's reopened, and it'll have stone there temporarily, and then uh, later on we'll, we'll uh, put an asphalt patch over it. Uh, that'll last during the construction. But LA-431 right in front of Santa Mo High School will be closed starting this Saturday at 7 o'clock. Uh, and uh, at, at the very least, we think it'll be reopened on Sunday at 3 in the afternoon. 
you know, the, the detour route that uh, <coughs> will be given to everybody that will uh, uh, be on the email that we'll send to everybody in the area uh, will only include state routes. So it's real cumbersome. It, it goes, uh, you know, it takes in uh, Weber City Road and Airline and LA-44. Now, I know the locals will find a little better route to get around it, but uh, that's the, the detour route that we'll advertise. So I appreciate the opportunity to uh, inform. Thank you. Thank you. Joey, uh, on the grass cutting, you heard basically what I talked about here. If for some reason the parish were not able to come to uh, an agreement with the state, how many, what kind of crew do y'all have to to cut the state road would it still be maintained uh, like we're doing it no. absolutely not uh, <laughs> so. you know we have a, a set uh, you know we're not because right. you you know if you give us the uh, extra grass to cut we're not going to be able to hire extra crews or have extra tractors we still have the same number of tractors the same number of people which is you know, uh, yeah about 13 or six parish for, for three parishes all on the east side, but you know, uh, we only have like three, four tractors. Right. Uh, and that covers all the state, that would. So, I mean, I, like I said, we want to work with the state. That's kind of what we're trying to do, but I want these guys to understand where sure. we're at, so, okay? Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you. So, Parish President, you need a motion to extend the contract and continue negotiation with the state. Is this kind of how you want to read it? Yeah. And, and Miss Liz, you have that, Miss Liz? We're going to go ahead and move by Councilman Lambert, second by Councilman Joseph, to extend the uh, contract with the state and uh, let the parish president negotiate uh, some numbers with them. Any further discussion on that? Well, go ahead. I, I just want to let know that practically every road on the West Bank is state road. I mean, Besides, if you're in the city, I mean, so, I mean, I just want the public to know that, if, you know, it'll go through, it's going to be a difficult challenge to handle that. And like I say, my whole com community on the west side, State Road. That's so. Why I want to kind of meet in the middle and not, uh, you know, get something or something else. All right. Okay. Any further discussion on that? If not, motion passed. And also on that closure, uh, Santa Monica Park, we're hosting the, um, I think the 16 through 18 uh, boys baseball uh, state uh, baseball this weekend. So as soon as we can get this rolled out, the better off, because we're going to have a lot of folks coming into uh, the parish this weekend. Uh, we appreciate you, Joy, for that. Motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Moved by Councilman Lambert, second by Councilman Joseph. To adjourn. We adjourn.